In another one of my videos, I discussed the 10 worst European players to have ever played in the NBA. However, this time, I want to flip the script and discuss with you guys the best players from the continent to ever have done it on the hard court. These players changed the league forever. And here they are. Number 10, Sharunas Marshallonis. Sharunas is one of the most important players in NBA history. Years before Manu Ginobili was doing it, Sharunas was the first player to bring the Euro step into the NBA. He's also regarded as one of the greatest international players of all time. Back when his home country, Lithuania, was part of the Soviet Union, he was one of the standout players for the Soviet squad, helping them win gold at the 1988 Olympics. In 1990, after Lithuania regained independence, Marshallonis was responsible for bringing back the country's national basketball team. He recruited the players, chose the uniforms, and obtained shoe deals. He also found sponsors for the team along the way. The team won bronze in 1992, where they faced off against Team USA or the Dream Team. The Lithuanian national team again won a bronze medal with Marshallonis in 1996. In the NBA, Marshallonis was selected 127th overall in the 1987 draft by the Golden State Warriors. He made his debut for the Warriors in 1989 and would go on to play in the league until 1997. He was one of the first European players to gain significant exposure in the NBA. Worldwide, Sharunas is also regarded highly, being named one of FIBA's 50 greatest players in 1991. Number 9. Tony Parker A cornerstone of the championship teams of the San Antonio Spurs during the 2000s and 2010s, the Belgian-born French player Tony Parker was a revolution for the point guard position. Growing up idolizing Michael Jordan, Parker was at first unadapted to the style of play in the NBA, and in a workout with the Spurs before being selected in the 2001 draft, he was less than impressive. Greg Popovich recalled in 2007, When we gave Tony Parker his first workout, we didn't think he was tough enough and we sent him home. And then we set up another interview, another workout, and he was fantastic in that one. Despite Parker's dismal performance in the workout, Popovich saw a mixtape of Parker's best plays, and drafting the Frenchman was still a target for the organization. After finally being drafted by San Antonio, Parker quickly became an asset, though his shooting was still flimsy. He would go on to lead the Spurs in assists and steals, earning a spot on the all-rookie first team. Parker would win his first NBA title the next season as he and new draftee Manu Ginobili would become the missing pieces that the Spurs needed to win it all. Parker would go on to win four NBA championships in total during his fabled career. Number 8. Nikola Jokic Nikola Jokic is one of the Balkan boys on this list. The 2021 NBA MVP was selected low in the 2014 NBA draft, but still managed to be the cornerstone of the Denver Nuggets. In the 2016 season, Jokic was named to the NBA All-Rookie First Team, and in the 2017 season was second in the voting for NBA's Most Improved Player. The 2019 season was when Nikola truly showed what he was capable of as a player. That season, he averaged 20.1 points, 10.8 rebounds, 7.3 assists, and 1.4 steals per game. He was named to the All-NBA First Team for the first time. The following season, Jokic experienced the same productivity and led the Nuggets to the Western Conference Finals in the bubble, where they'd lose in five games to the Los Angeles Lakers. The 2021 season saw Jokic winning the MVP award, averaging 26.4 points, 10.8 rebounds, 8.3 assists, and 1.3 steals per game in a season where he also led the Denver Nuggets to the Western Conference Semis. Number 7. Giannis Antetokounmpo Giannis Antetokounmpo is the man right now. The most recent NBA Finals MVP, Giannis or the Greek Freak had a long and arduous journey to becoming the superstar he is today with the Milwaukee Bucks. At 18, he was one of the youngest players to have ever played in the league, but he only finally showed signs of being a premier player in the league during the 2017 season. He averaged over 20 points a game for the first time and also averaged close to two blocks per game. He kept up his high performance in the following seasons, eventually becoming recognized as MVP material. As the 2019 season came along, he and the Bucks now had a new coach, Mike Budenholzer, who led them to the best record in the NBA. Giannis would be named NBA MVP for the first time in his career, and the Bucks would advance all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they lost to the Toronto Raptors in six games. In the 2020 season, Antetokounmpo once again played well and so did the Bucks, who repeated as the league's best record holders. However, their run was stopped abruptly when they shockingly lost in five games to the Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference semis. 
However, the year was again a triumphant one for Giannis, who was again named season MVP. He also achieved the highest player efficiency rating of all time, breaking Wilt Chamberlain's long-standing record. In 2021, he led Milwaukee to its first NBA championship in 50 years, dropping 50 points in the deciding Game 6. Number 6. Luka Doncic The youngest player on this list, Luka had amassed accolades even before he entered the NBA. Back in Europe, he became the youngest player in Real Madrid's history at the age of just 16. He led them to the championship in the 2018 season, becoming the Final Four MVP, as well as becoming the regular season MVP of the EuroLeague. He decided to make the move to the NBA and was selected third overall in the 2018 draft by the Dallas Mavericks. Doncic quickly made an impact and recorded his first triple-double on January 21, 2019, making him the third youngest player ever to do it. He also became the first player in NBA history to have a 30-point triple-double and multiple triple-doubles as a team. He was made a member of the All-NBA First Team and won the Rookie of the Year award, which he was favored to receive. He became an All-Star the following season, becoming the youngest starter from Europe to play. He also led the Mavs to the playoffs, where they lost to the Los Angeles Clippers. He continued his stellar play the next season, where they lost to the Clippers again in the playoffs. Number 5. Vladi Divac Vladi Divac was one of the first European stars in the NBA. The Serbian big man was such an asset to his team that the Charlotte Hornets traded their draft rights for Kobe Bryant to the Lakers in 1996 in exchange for him. There's also a darker side to his legacy, as he was the one who popularized flopping in the league. But that doesn't diminish what he's actually achieved. For starters, he was named Rookie of the Year back in 1990 and was named an All-Star back in 2001. Drafted 26th overall by the Lakers in 1989, Divots at first wasn't used to how Americans played the game. Luckily, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson helped him find his footing, and he thrived. After Magic retired in 1991, Divots played a larger role for the Lakers franchise and was a key member of the squad from the end of the Showtime era up until before the Shaq and Kobe era. In 1998, he signed with the Sacramento Kings, where he once again enjoyed success. His years with the Kings saw deep runs into the playoffs. However, the presence of the Lakers was a huge stumbling block. In 2002, the Kings managed to push the Lakers to seven games in the Western Conference Finals, and the Lakers won Game 7 amidst controversy. Divots did retire as a member of the Lakers in 2005, and the Kings would retire his jersey in 2009. Number 4. Detlef Schrempf Before there was Dirk Nowitzki, the best NBA player to come out of Germany was Detlef Schrempf. He was also drafted by the Dallas Mavericks, who took him with the 8th overall pick in 1985. He impressed with his 3-point accuracy and would be given more minutes of play in return. He was traded to the Indiana Pacers in 1989, where he won NBA 6th Man of the Year honors in 1991 and 1992. In the 1993 season, Schrempf finished in the top 25 for scoring, rebounding, and assists. 1993 was a year which also saw Schrempf play in the All-Star game becoming the first European to do so. After that season, he was traded to the Seattle Supersonics, and playing on a squad that fielded Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, advanced to the finals in 1996. That same year, Schrempf finished second in the league for three-point accuracy with 51.4%. Schrempf once again played in the All-Star game in 1995 and 1997. How is shooting more of a big man skill in Europe, which it has been for many years, while America's only caught on some years ago? If any of you know the answer, comment down below. Number 3. Tony Kukoc Tony Kukoc was a key player for the Chicago Bulls and helped them win three straight championships. After an individual named Michael Jordan left the Bulls after retiring from the NBA in 1993, they were left with their remaining star, Scottie Pippen. Both Jordan and Pippen got a taste of what Kukoc was capable of in the 1992 Olympics, when Team USA faced Kukoc's Team Croatia in the final round. Kukoc was actually drafted by the Bulls in 1990, but only finally played for the team in 1993 after Jordan had left, which disappointed him. He immediately made a mark, so much so that Phil Jackson chose him to hit the game-winning shot in the Eastern Conference semis in 1994. He did hit that shot, which proved his clutch gene. Kukoc would continue to remain a reliable scoring option for the Bulls even after Michael Jordan's return in 1995. During the 1996 season, where the Bulls won 72 games in the regular season, Kukoc was named the sixth man of the year. Number 2. Peja Stojakovic Peja was a three-time All-Star and a big reason the Sacramento Kings were a postseason threat in the early 2000s. 
Averaging 17 points a game for his career, Stojakovic was one of the good European picks the NBA received in the latter half of the 1990s. He was selected by the Sacramento Kings with the 14th overall pick in the 1998 draft, making his mark as an elite shooter. A productive scorer, he regularly averaged at least 20 points a game in his eight seasons with Sacramento, averaging a career-high 24.2 points in the 2004 season. He also led the league twice in free throw percentage, both times hitting close to 93% of his free throws. For years, Stojakovic had only advanced as far as the conference finals, but in 2011, he finally won a ring with the Dallas Mavericks in his last NBA season. Number 1. Dirk Nowitzki and need we say more, Dirk Nowitzki's a multiple-time All-Star, won the MVP award, Finals MVP award, and an NBA title in 2011. He's also the only player in NBA history to have played for the same team for 21 seasons, something he did with the Dallas Mavericks. He's the best German player ever, and unarguably the best European player ever just based on those accolades alone. As of now, Dirk has reached a pedestal that no other player from Europe has gone to. What makes European players so versatile? Whatever your thoughts, comment down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more NBA content.